History does not recommend the widening gulf between the haves and the have-nots, and the pandemic shutdown whacked lower-income workers worse. Here are some sobering numbers from the 2020 AFL-CIO Executive Pay Watch. Listen to this. The CEOs of the S&P 500 companies received, on average, 15 and a half million in total compensation. That's the average. And in the average company, the CEO to worker pay ratio was, not a misprint, 299 to 1. The boss averaged a $260,000 raise last year, while the average production and non-supervisory worker saw a wage increase of $957 a year over the past decade. The Securities and Exchange Commission requires publicly traded companies to disclose their highest paid executives' total compensation and the pay of their median employee and regulatory filings. And according to this AFL-CIO tabulation, the S&P companies with the five most extreme disproportion ratios are, and this is a hall of shame, Number five, Chipotle Mexican Grill, whose head honcho W2'd out at 38 million, while the average burrito roller racked up a little over 13K. Now, the company is quick to note that these are part timers who work 25 hour weeks, and the 2020 was a tough year. Still, the ratio was 2,898 to one. More skilled full-timers at firm number four, Paycom Software, averaged just over 71 thou, while CEO Chad Richeson took home 211 mil, 209 and a half of it in uh, stock awards, a 2,963 to one ratio. Dizzy yet? Number three is The Gap, which, like most mall stores, took a hard hit during the shutdown, during which CEO Sonia Singal came over from Old Navy, where she made $4.8 million in 2019. 2020 at The Gap, just shy of $22 million, a 3,113 to 1 ratio. Runner-up Western Digital, which also had a new boss, David Geckler from Cisco Systems, his compensation also mostly stock awards, just under 36 million. Workers assembling his hard disk drives and flash drives made a median 7,700, a 4,900. 34 to 1 ratio. And the biggest 2020 CEO to worker pay ratio, 502,094 to 1. Auto parts company Aptive, formerly Delphi Automotive, which more than doubled Chief Executive Officer Kevin Clark's total compensation to over 31 million compared to its median employees' total annual compensation. $5,906 last year.